I didn't film an intro earlier today, so it's now the end of the day and I'm wearing something completely different and the lighting is completely different. But if you want to test, see me test out four new vegan makeup products and then do the rest of my normal face routine with also 100% vegan makeup, then please keep watching. This is my designer brand's blurring primer, I think it's called. Pore minimalizing blurring silicone -y. similar to Benefit Pore Professional. It's cute, right? So I wanted to do this video because I bought a whole bunch of eye of Horus um, cosmetics and I'll read you the email they sent me. Hi Monique, hope you are well and thank you for your email. All of our products are vegan except for our goddess eye, uh, pencil eyeliner and goddess mascara in black and brown. So all of our brow products, liquid liners and eyeshadows are vegan as well as our bio lash lift mascara. So the whole reason why I've gone and bought all these things is because I wanted to try this bio oh, lash lift mascara because I'm on the hunt for a seriously good mascara. I've used the Too Faced Better Than Sex, um, which I cannot stand because it flakes and crumbles. So I'm really excited to try this out. I managed to just look into them and um, buy a whole bunch of things on sale. They are having like a 20% off the whole website sale. And I ended up getting a free eyeshadow palette as well, which is really cool. So I'll be getting to try that as well for you guys. I'm going to mix my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. This is in the shade Light Medium Neutral. It's a little bit too light for me. And I'm going to mix that with my EX1 Invisiware foundation in the shade F200, which is a little bit too dark for me. That's what that one looks like. Literally just like to go all over with my finger. Um, what brush am I going to use? I'm just going to use a Real Techniques buffing brush. These brushes are just so cheap and handy and expensive. This is the um, Real Techniques blender sponge. I just like to press my foundation into my skin, making sure there's no brush lines. This is a Real Techniques base shadow brush. And I like to use this to blend out some concealer. I'm just going to spread it over my eyelids, which is what I normally do. I feel like I should be wearing earrings in this video. So basically, this is my everyday vegan makeup routine, um, but trying out new products. Uh, this is the Cover, <laughs> Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in translucent light. I just use this cheap Morphe brush to press it under my eyes. All right, let's try some new products. I'm gonna start off with the, that's not it, Eye of Horus Nile Brow Define. So I think this is like similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz, like that shape, like really skinny. Um, this is, Nile is the shade Dark Brown. I'm pretty sure they only have three shades in their Brow Define. Um, so let's see how this goes. Hopefully it won't be too warm.
I haven't used a brow pencil in ages, so I might be a bit shit. I don't love this spoolie. I never knew you could, but yeah, don't love it. I'm gonna go in with my bronzer, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Um, what brush do I use? I use this brush, which I think is not vegan. It's slowly falling apart, so when it falls apart, I'll throw it in the bin. Tap the excess off. Um, so this is a NARS brush, and I am fucking so upset that NARS has decided to um, sell themselves out and sell to China. So obviously they didn't care about being cruelty free in the first place, which is really disappointing. They just took it to their advantage to say that they um, to their advantage to say that they weren't before, but now that they're not, uh, I'm never buying a NARS product again which is super disappointing because it was my all-time favorite brand. I've been buying their Sheer Glow Foundation for like eight years now. So annoying. It was really hard to find um, a foundation shade to match my olive skin. So zoom you guys up a little bit. Oh, I saw this girl the other day and she'd obviously done her makeup somewhere that wasn't well lit. So she had like a stripe of contour here and then a stripe here along her jawline as well. And I was like, oh, I just want to tell her to blend it out. I feel so bad for her. This is a Morphe brush. I think it's the E3. I'm just going to blend out that bronzer. Too Faced blush. The Love Flush Heart, one of these heart blushes. Um, the names come off the back, but only like three of these are actually vegan. So I'll let you guys know the shade down below. I'm gonna go in with Anastasia So Hollywood Highlighter. All of her highlighters and illuminators are vegan. Yeah. So it's easy to find a vegan highlight. This is a Morphe M501 brush. Boom. I love this highlight. It's like a gold highlight. Okay, now I'm gonna get into eyeshadow. So because I ordered a certain amount of product on the um, Eye of Horus website, I'm gonna use the Sheba Mystical Goddess palette, which I received for free. Take this crappy little brush out. Um, the first champagne shade swatched the best out of all three. This one was next, and then this one swatched really poorly. Um, I just went around like three times with my finger like so, and then swatched. No primer or nothing down there. The light champagne shade, which was awesome. I'm just going to put that on the inner third of my eye with this crappy little brush. No, I'm not going to use my finger because that was really crap. Oh, wow. So it's a really like silvery champagne. I don't want to use this pink shade, it's so average. Let's just see how it goes on the finger in the middle of the lid. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M330. Not affiliated with Morphe, don't want to be bought their a whole bunch of their brushes, kind of regret it. Um, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Royal Abyss, the purple. Everyone at work today is going to be like, mmm, cool. You're wearing a lot of makeup, Monique. I'll be like, yep. It's all vegan. Okay, I don't know what that was, but it went away. And now you can see my whole makeup room. There we go. Okay, so what I did with my eyeshadow was I used this Morphe brush to do the purple like so. And then I took another piece of shit Morphe brush and I got my bronzer and I just blended it out at the top here. So it had a really nice gradient. 
fluffy brush and take the pink shade and a spray and try and make that more pigmented. I guess that worked. Yeah, I'd say that worked. Happy with that. Much better. And now to something a little bit more exciting. Eyeliner. I'm saving the best for last, guys. So this is the Liquid Define. I guess this is in black. This feels nice and sturdy, I like this. Okay, I'm going to try the Bio Lash Lift Mascara. So that's what the brush looks like. Really curved. I feel like there was nothing on there. It's like really flat, like, can you see how flat that is? It's like flat as plant pancake. I don't know what I was trying to say then. It really does lift my lashes though with this curved brush, I like that. Okay. Nah. Get a lot more product on there this time. This Really what makes my lashes. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen my lashes like this with a mascara. Cool. And the bottom lashes now. Sorry, you can't see this. Oh, I really like what it does to the bottom lashes does not make them clumpy. See, I want clumpy top lashes, but not clumpy bottom lashes. Hey guys, so it's the end of the day now. Um, I've changed into something else, something a bit warmer. And I just wanted to recap uh, about my makeup. So I went to work today, um, five hours. Um, that may not seem like a long time, but my I do a lot of physical activity when I work. So um, I need makeup that'll stay on. First of all, I just want to say I'm super impressed with the mascara. It's held my lashes up, like lifted them and kept them lifted all day. And um, it hasn't flaked or crumbled or left any black marks under my eyes, which is a huge, huge plus. Um, I don't know if this is exactly waterproof mascara. Let's have a look. Now, it doesn't say um, that it's waterproof, but it's lasted really well, and I'm really impressed with it. Uh, it is really, really expensive. Not really, really, but I know it's um, more expensive than the Too Faced Better Than Sex, uh, but it is vegan, it's organic, and it's held up really, really well, so super impressed with this. I'll have to keep buying it because it's the best vegan mascara I've found so far in my vegan makeup journey. Um, the eyeshadows. Now, let me zoom you in. I'll just lean a bit closer. The eyeshadow, the pink shade has faded a little bit. Uh, it would definitely last longer if I um, put like a pink base underneath or used an actual eye primer. Today I just used my concealer so it didn't really pop. Uh, the purple lasted really, really well, and the eyeliner did not smudge at all. Now, eyeliner is something that I have a problem with smudging because I have hooded lids. So, as you can see right now, sometimes my um, eyeliner like goes under my eyelids and can transfer. Uh, just waiting for people in my house to stop talking, even though I asked them to be quiet, and that I'm filming a video. Um, so, what else was there? The eyebrow pencil. 
Uh, it's faded a little bit on the outer corner there, as you can see. And it's not quite the cool brown color that I would have liked, um, but it's okay. Uh, it never really lasts there for me on the outside anyway. I always prefer to do like a pomade. I hope you guys found this review helpful and this tutorial so then you guys could see an application of how everything worked. If you have any comments or requests, let, leave them down in the um, comment box below. I'll be sure to reply to them because, um, well, I don't get very many. <laughs> um, I think that's all I have to say and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.